Hello and welcome to Module 9 of the Intelligent Sales Machine Program. As I mentioned inside the introduction to this module, it is very much a scientific one in which I will be discussing the actions that you will take on your FBA roadmap. It is, as always, step by step in the process. So let's get started with our module objectives and an overview of what will happen for you with this roadmap. Our first objective inside the FBA roadmap is to create a placeholder listing. Now, what do I mean by a placeholder listing? Well, it's very simple. We're gonna collate the basic information required to have a listing installed into the Amazon catalog. Why? Purely to facilitate the creation of an inward FBA order. Next, we're gonna look at some of the Amazon identifiers that we'll be using and making you aware of their uses within both Amazon themselves and our business as a whole. We will also be discussing labeling, its uses, requirements, and the best way to efficiently set up your labeling process. Then we will move into the actual Inwood FBA order itself. Now, when I say this phrase, Inwood FBA order, I'm talking about you informing Amazon of incoming stock, which will be on its way in the future to one or many of their fulfillment centers. Simply cannot ship items to Amazon without informing them first. This goes not only for the shipment itself, but also what is contained in the shipment and how the shipment is made up. Finally, I will dive into how and when Amazon will make payment to your business. This is really starting to get super exciting now. Not only have you researched potential products and then moved them on to become real products for your business, but now we are discussing the aftermath of their sales or the money and profit flowing into your business. To give you an overview, which you can see on the screen, firstly, we collate all the information required to complete a placeholder listing. All the information to hand makes the process so much easier rather than having to go and find each piece as the request is presented to you. Then we actually install a placeholder listing by using the collated information and inserting it into the correct areas to allow the Amazon catalog to process the request and create your first listing. Then we will convert the listing over to FBA. This informs Amazon of our intention to use their fulfillment services when our stock arrives and the sales start flowing. After this, we will create the actual shipment of stock items into Amazon according to their requirements. This stock order will then be shipped into the Amazon centers and received by them. We must be aware at this point that the stock will not be available as soon as it arrives, but Amazon are very quick to receive your stock and it is generally available for sale and dispatch within a matter of days. When this is complete and the stock is on the shelf, this activates the listing and the item is ready for consumers to purchase and Amazon to dispatch to them directly. 